In this video, we're going to focus on the main menu, which is located right here on the left hand side of the page. Of course, we'll go over each one of these tabs in detail so we can get to know what they are and what they do. So the first one here is the home key. Of course, that'll take you back to the home dashboard. Now, keep in mind, if you were working on this page and you made some changes and then you said it was going home to work on another template, but you may have forgot to hit the save key before you did. Well, if you come back, all of your changes would be lost. So here's a quick little habit to get into. Come up here to this toggle switch and click it and make sure your auto save key is on. So this will auto save your page. That way, if you do happen to click that home button and go back home, when you come back, your last change should be saved. And another good reason to have this on is just in case maybe one day you might be working doing these sites and it might be raining out, a thunderstorm and whatnot, and the power goes off. If you didn't have this auto save feature on, you might lose all of your changes. So that would really suck, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out and go on to the next tab. Okay, so let's look at the page setup tab here. So if we click that, we get this pop-up menu bar. And within here, we can create a title for our page. We can insert a URL for our fave icon. We can also edit the description of our page. This will be great for SEO, so Google can find what our page is. And if you're doing any kind of animations within the page, make sure you have this switch toggled on. Also over here, you can insert your Facebook pixel. Just click that link and you can go ahead and paste that in. And you can also do your Google Analytics script as well. Let's paste that right in. Also, if you're a web developer and you work in code, you can actually click on the code key here and change anything that you need to. Now let's go ahead and close this bar off. Okay, let's take a look at the next tab here, which is the body settings. So this is gonna give us access to the background, some fonts and of course the code tab again so if you want the background to be on you can toggle that switch here here you can insert a background image you can change your background color as well as all of these other background features here in the font tab of course we have the same thing you can change the font colors the font style the font family the font size and all of the other font settings here and if you're a coder again you have the code tab here where you can get into the actual code of the page let's close this out okay here's the flexi mic of course you're going to use this to edit the page with your voice and we'll go over the commands in another video okay next we have the flexi chat so this is pretty much the same thing as voice. Let's take a look at that. So this is the same as voice, except you're using the chat box to give Flexi commands. So let's take a look at this. If I click in here, let's say I select this text here, and let's say I want to change the background to black and click send. Sure, I can do that. So as you can see here, the background of the text now is black. So let's go ahead now and undo that. Click send. Changes rolled back. So as you can see, it's just like using the microphone, except you're actually just using the commands with your mouse, okay? So let me go ahead and close that out. So let's take a look at this tab here. This is the generator where you can actually generate variables on your page. This is a little in-depth, so we're going to do a video just on this tab as well. Of course, you have your save key here. Go ahead and click that. You'll see the little rotating bars rotating every few seconds there because it's on auto save mode. And of course you have flex page here, which allows you to download a compressed version of your page. And we'll go over this in detail in another video as well to show you how to actually embed it into your page.